Hello and welcome to Today in Film, episode 14. I'm your host, Dominic Parrow, and with me today are... Greg Toby. And Harry Gibbons. Now, today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Sylvester Stallone film, Demolition Man. Now, Harry, what do you think of this film? I mean, we've all collectively, behind the scenes, said it is known as the greatest film of all time. Um, no. Yes, and... Um, it's it's won. Uh, I think it was all of the Academy Awards the year it came out. I believe yeah, it's so, yeah. It gets the an honor. The yeah. Rasp- yeah it, well, well, we don't talk about those. Um, it it gets a BAFTA honor like posthumously every year, just for you know, because it continues mm. to be the greatest British film ever made. With I mean, stars every, you know, like, every time they're just like, yeah. guys, we can't match Demolition Man. We should just we can't. Up. Wesley Snipes is now a three point four times billionaire. Um, because he gets royalties, because it is obviously the greatest Christmas film, so it gets played once a year, um, well, at least minimum. Secondly, Harry, what happens in this film? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so, Austin Powers is a, a spy Austin. from the 1960s. Uh, no, very similar actually. Um, <laughs> actually, it was yeah, it was the whole yeah. freezing thing. Yeah. So, actually, it's the exact super same criminal, thing, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I open that kind of worms mm-hmm. very. Um, super criminal, the criminal that can't be stopped, is released into the 2020 something century. 30, do, 32. Uh, 32 century. <laughs> um, and uh, that's wrong, right? Surely, it's, isn't it? Yeah. 20, is 2032. It 2032. 2032. 2032. So it's released so it's in 21st century. So, super criminal that can't be stopped is released into um, 2032, and his fun- kung, kung fu prowess. <laughs> oh my god. Um, <laughs> Basically, overwhelms the uh, non-violence trained police force of 2032. So, obviously, what are you going to do to resolve this nationwide problem? It's not quite international. Got to get Rambo. Nationwide problem. You have to get the trainer from Creed. Yeah, you heard. But don't worry. Don't worry. They reference the Rambo pacifier. They do. Oh, what other really like not action role has Sylvester Stallone been in? Has he been in anything very? He's Is he in the been pacifier. In, no, that was Vin Diesel. Oh, didn't I'm pretty sure there was like, like a couple. The start babysitter. Like a porn star? I think so, yeah. Italian stallion. Yeah. Um, oh. Basically, it's just... Yeah, the world's greatest porn star is brought back <laughs> to um, stop... Uh, super cop that can't be stopped is brought back to stop super criminal who can't be stopped. And it's it's a fight to the death um, on the streets. Law enforcement at its finest, you know? Law enforcement, America, my friends. Um, yeah, so basically, imagine that they just bring out a criminal gets released from cryogenic from being cryogenically frozen, and so does a police officer. It's the age old story. It was, I think it was first in the Bible, I believe. Yeah, so, you know, it's just a sort time. of rework. A tale as old as time, <laughs> which weirdly Beauty also beast. featured, um, <laughs> which sang by Sylvester Stallone. Um, yeah, no, it was Sting. that was Sting. It- he yeah. sang by Sting, not not Silver Stone. He no, tried it, but he mistake, did the dance. Yeah. He did the dance, the interpretive dance. Because the, the whole film is an interpretive man. dance. This isn't made up, but it was actually meant to be Jackie Chan. I'm just throwing that information in there organically. It's like, you know, it's just smooth. It's a, it's a but, great turnover. Yeah. But they, then they chose Wesley Snipes because they basically look the same. That's, they look exactly that's, the same. Yeah, that's, and that's Hollywood in the 90s. Clone. Wesley Snipes, they found out, moves faster than the speed of a camera lens. Because of Blade. I'm just like, yo, yo Wesley, slow down, please. Yo, yeah. They had to actually slow the world around Wesley Snipes down mm. in like a pocket dimension, which is technology that exists in 2032, the year this film was made in. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's just my, you know, I haven't researched it much, but that's how this film was made, so, if you guys wanted to know. Yeah, basically, this film... It, you know, Rambo the Destroyer, as it was called in <laughs> Kuwait, which, which, are, which is just great. Featuring Dwayne the Rock Johnson and Robert De Niro. You know, can, you, can you imagine if they did that today? <laughs> they just talk like Robert Downey Jr. and he's in like some like fucking thriller and they're like Iron Man. The return <laughs> of the Zodiac. That's it, yeah. Literally, put, put it's just literally Zodiac by Fincher, and it's just <laughs> Iron Man Four, the Zodiac Killer. They just—they don't even do any research into the production of it. They just throw no, the exactly, famous film. Yeah. 
Oh, it's just like The Rock is in like a heartfelt drama about like a paraplegic American football team, and they're just like Jumanji three. <laughs> 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 Welcome no. to the jungle. Like, yeah. Vin John Diesel in a story about people with scoliosis in wheelchairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yeah, that's exactly what it. Oh, that one. That one hit different to the others in uh, certain ways. I'm not sure why. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's just the simple, you know, simple breakdown of the film. If you guys mm. hadn't seen it, I don't know Perfect. why. It's you know, it's school curriculum. It should be anyway. It has six. I don't know how to describe it. The genre. Any of you want know. to sort of have a crack at the genre? It's a rom com between. Yeah, it is a rom com. A little 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 horror in there, you know. Sandy, <laughs> I was going to call it Sandy, um, yeah, Sandy, Sandy. and <laughs> what is her and, name anyway? Yeah. What's her name? Bol- <laughs> no, <laughs> San- what? Sandy Bollock. Sandra Bullock. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sandy Bullock and Sly. That's His name is just S L Y, but like there's about four Ys and about a couple of couple of L's. He's got no last name. Formerly known as Sly. <laughs> Sly Malone. Yeah, that's who was in this film. Sly Malone um, and Sandy Bullock. <laughs> um, <laughs> can't recover from that. Um, but yes. <laughs> I'm trying to, the genre wise, there's like, I'm going to use this word, and I'm not quite sure if it does fit this exactly. Because I know okay. it, it covers a lot of them. Pulp, right? Do you know I, the pulp style that, yeah. films? They were like the 1950s, almost superhero ish tales. Yeah, like, they're yeah, like, like, really like cheesy. Yeah, the shadow, and it's all like it. Basically, it's like a comic strip, not like how Marvel does it now. But it, it was basically just like a comic strip, comic strip, comic strip, comic strip put to film. Basically, is how they did it. This is basically. I know we joked about Taylor's oldest time and all like that, but it very much feels like just a very high concept, and they just you know um, mm. presented it in a way accessible to a lot of people. It's sort of like pulp nineties I mean, action films. I wouldn't say it's a pulp story. No, not quite. Because, because just, pulp, yeah. pulp is like pulp is like a kind of it's basically like a cheap story. Yeah, I mean, it's, two men from back in time try to fight in the future. So, I mean, it was very creative. Mm. You know, I mean, this film like, certainly oh. wasn't cheap either. No, no, not by any means. Was what it, is I feel the like tagline? No, the cop oh. that can't be stopped. <laughs> yeah, uh, the future isn't big enough for the both of them. Is that actually it? That's actually <laughs> sick. If that's no, it, no, that's, that's not the whole thing, though. The twenty first century's most dangerous cop, the twenty first century's most ruthless killer. Why do you have to say twenty first century for both of them? Oh, uh, yeah, just, just pick a year. Twenty first century's best cop and worst criminal. <laughs> like this, and just mm. fixes that. You don't have to yeah, put right. the sentence twice. The way I can make this movie better is. Just change it. So the 21st century's most dangerous cop. The 17th century's most ruthless criminal. <gasps> no, that wouldn't be a very fair f- if he's got a gun. I don't know. Oh, like the other guy could police work training. out how to use a gun. I was thinking maybe like the first century's worst criminal. Just like Grog with his club. Just a guy with a like, hammer. <laughs> like, like, eat foot oh, Grog. Stone, mate. <laughs> <laughs> can literally eat walls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> You've also seen that Alex. Sandra Bullock. <laughs> yeah, that is my. F- yeah, literally, you've seen the. I don't know how they do it. Just like you've Andre the, the Giant. Hulk. Mousy Grog. <laughs> Andre the Giant's Grog versus. He just, he just punches people and kills them. He doesn't the understand film. cars or the mm. concept of the future because he doesn't even can't even grasp the concept of language. So like. um there yeah, be a lot of screaming. So basically, it's, century, it's, yeah. uh, it's Jaws from the James Bond franchise. <laughs> Just like you were going to somehow like explain this film <laughs> as Jaws the Shark. Speaking of Jaws meets something. Oh my god! What about Jaws? Uh, what about right? Right. This is the most high concept kind of idea. Jaws right. versus Jaws. That's just, <laughs> um, I can are we in water or on land? Because I feel like this fight goes two ways. Exactly, well, it's, yeah. It's in space. In space? Ah, oh, you got to take away the middle yeah. ground. Yeah. Yeah, Moonraker. 
<laughs> They're both wearing just like astronaut suits. <laughs> uh. With the same like awful special <laughs> I effects. I mean, it's just they're like clearly like like how Endgame did those like quantum suits. They're never actually wearing it because obviously you can't get a shark into space. Well, that's one thing. No. But once you do get the shark into space, you can't get it in a suit, can you? Mm, I don't know, man. King Shark. I, I, I know you sharks very well, suit. Greg. Um, get it in a suit mm. and just fire it out of a cannon. Bonk! It's uh, like a grenade launcher <laughs> noise in like post production. <laughs> As it just, it's just like, thunk, as you just push it into space. It's like slightly uh, suppressed as well. That'd be beautiful. Just a space bonk. isn't big enough for the both of them. Oh the, my the god, seas, Jaws. Most vicious killer. In space. No one can hear Jaws. you jump. Jaws, but the S is a five. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for it. <laughs> oh no. Why would you have Jaws five? <laughs> Jaw fours, but it's like Jaw fours. The A is a four. Jaws four. Yes, the okay, so it's Jaws? How, did, how was your first bit going? Where was it actually going? It's Jaws. I have no it's clue. just Jaws. I was just searching really? how many Jaws films are. There's four, there's four films. Oh, perfect. So it is Jaws 5. I mean, it was five yeah. at this end. Yeah. Seven it's Jaws. Just Jaws 5. Jaw 5. Jaws 5. I mean, Rambo has like eight films, doesn't it? Uh, it's got quite a few. Rocky's got loads. There's five rock. <laughs> right, yeah, sorry. Wikipedia, no, Google is wrong. It says there's only five, but we know there's six because Rambo the Destroyer. Rambo the Destroyer. I mean, First Blood. Last bl- l- Second Blood? Yeah. So this would be the fourth Rambo film. As we all know. Mm. Yeah. It's Rambo a true story. Yep. <laughs> it's Demolition oh. Man a true story. <laughs> uh, <laughs> such a, I'm going to type in is Demolition Man and I really hope that goes oh. up. <laughs> yeah, <tough laughs> like over everywhere, you know. Daughter. Uh, I feel like that's what you're going to be. That's what it seems like. I mean, I've just cut that information in and pretended we knew. Um, is is it a cinematic universe? So is Bi- Bicentennial Man canon in Demolition Man? <laughs> yeah. Do we think? Uh, I I would what? say um, Robin Williams knows Sandra Bullock very well. Is Demolition Man? Oh a true yeah, hundred percent. No, it's no, not. guys, it's not. <laughs> it's funnily enough, the it's story about Google. is yours. <laughs> Uh, a true story. <laughs> is that actually Google? I mean, it did terrify like a oh, generation. It, it, was, it was inspired by a real shark. <laughs> I was going to say inspired by sharks. <laughs> <laughs> inspired by <laughs> the ocean. Film. Is Jaws? Um, is Jaws <laughs> from James Bond? Also, <laughs> the shark. Is <laughs> <laughs> a He's the same guy. actor voiced both characters. I met him. Fun fact. What the shark? He, oh, no. he wasn't in shark form at that point. To be fair, Richard Kilde wasn't Keel. Was an old man when I met him. To be fair, God rest hmm. him. I'm in the mean, ocean off there somewhere now, just you know, biting people. away, hmm. biting people. Yeah, <laughs> with these metal teeth. God, um, not again, Jaws. Uh, <laughs> I really hope Jaws is it this. no times to die. That's no how. Times, no literally, that is die. how they stopped it. No time to die. Mm. Yeah, they are basically. I mean, to go on a very serious tangent from that, like to spice it up a bit. No time to die seems almost like they've just gone. Huh, these last five Bond films are actually a soft reboot. Yeah, basically. I mean, mm. they, they killed. Telling anyone. They killed. They killed. What was her name? Q. No, M. M. You know what's the actress's name? Judy Dench. Yeah. Judy's Hench. Yeah, that one. I can't believe that they're getting <laughs> there, Was there a little bit that you were going with that, or were you just like, just make them remember they killed Judy Dench? <laughs> no, because they kill her. And, like, that separates it from the Brosnan era. era. Yeah. So, hmm. you know. Which weirdly also had her in. Yeah. So they would. Yeah. It's like late, it very late. Sense. They've decided it's a soft reboot. 
Did you know there's a Lethal Weapon three poster in the film? There That's is, cool. yeah, because yeah, because, I saw um, that. Sandra Bullock is like obsessed with the 20th century. Oh yeah, that was a thing I completely forgot, even though I watched it. If earlier. she's a, mm. if she's obsessed, why isn't she obsessed with sex? She'd know it. She'd know so much more. Like every, if yeah. she's like watched other films like that, she'd know that it doesn't involve VR headsets. Like, so yeah. it's, it's like the older, eyes and it's a rave. Oculus Rift every time that. Uh... <laughs> uh... When he when he does, like, when he does kind of say it, and she's like, "Oh my god, you fucking creature!" Yeah, it's just I'm very bit, dare like, you. It's Your just quote. a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It is like sort mm. of. I think it's a strange one though because. So this was twenty thirty two, and yeah. he was from nineteen ninety. Obviously, the film came out nineteen ninety three, but we'd imagine it was nineteen or oh, nineteen ninety six. It was yeah, sorry. Um, Which was she still is the born in two thousand three. Right? Well, yeah. <gasps> oh, that's weird. She was born after us. Ugh. She was born in two thousand three, and wait, people are born was... in two thousand three. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't understand it. It's uh. Weird. <laughs> the weird thing is that right, they there's like that plot line of like his him mentioning his daughter. I I was like, yeah. I was like, is there mm. going to be a plot line where it's like she's his daughter or something? She's his daughter. That would be weird. Well, Meryl Streep. Do you think they were setting up the Meryl Streep sequel? I wish oh, that's not a bit. Guys. <laughs> Meryl <laughs> Streep. That's not a bit. We're literally that's no, not like not a, a bit. Yeah. Picking... They were actually, they asked Meryl Streep about being in a sequel that would have released like around the same time. Um, but what what really is you, still like in my head struggling to captivate is, so the year currently shit. is 2020 to, to date the video, right? That's hmm. 20, like the difference yes. there is about, what are we saying? I'm just trying to do the quick math, but I'm also thinking about so many other things. 32 like to 96. Years. Yeah. Uh, well, twelve years from now. Sorry. It's so we're assuming that she's a fan of like I mean, pop culture from only about thirty years before, but she's like an expert. No one here is a fan of like mm, nineteen ninety. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No one is like, no. and there's not like a nineteen ninety fan who then goes on and becomes a nineteen ninety two fan when it becomes twenty twenty three. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit <laughs> of like a concept that you see in films all the time of like people who are obsessed with the seventies or the eighties. But when you yeah. actually think about it, I don't think I've ever met or ever will meet someone who's like obsessed with only like a certain five years of history. I mean there's James Acaster. He he listens to albums from twenty sixteen. That is my favourite thing, that he's got this whole vinyl and CD collection of only mm. albums from 2016. Yeah, I wrote an entire book about it. Oh, That is... I mean... A, that's genius. I, I only listen to old music, but I'm not like, oh yeah, only these, like, in the 90s. Literally. Like, that's it. I'm obsessed with it. My entire house looks like it, because... But you don't study the all of the, the context to those songs. No, you don't. No. Or oh, they're still, like... And it just played off, and then we see Sandra Bullock, and we see her character, uh, like her character types hobby in so many different films, and like you know, um, yeah, sort of products of media. Just... With the past, <laughs> yeah, no mm. one, yeah, it's all no nostalgia. Literally, there's like nostalgia is a weird one, and we paint it as a thing that's sort of achievable. Mm. Do you know what? We only keep it alive because we think about it. You know. Do you want to know a weird, uh, sec- a weird bit of trivia, right? Right. For this, so Go the on. sex similar six sex simulator was designed to look elegant, like something you stored in a jewel box. It looked bulky and it looked so clunky. That yeah, was horrible. it did yeah. on the back of your head. Too. It just looked like some like robot thing that if you like if you shaded in like. Some silver around the eye. They could, you know, you just have that cyborg or whatever. Mm. Yeah, literally. It didn't look elegant. It looks like and... they took it off of the off of um robot Robin Williams' head. Literally, it looks like it was probably made in like nineteen eighty six. This came out before Judge Dredd. Yes. Oh my yeah. god! Also, I thought it was yeah, after Judge, Judge Dredd, after. the cop that can't be stopped. <laughs> yeah. He is the law. Yeah, just he is the law. He is the knight. He's Batman. Um, the did you know that the computer's no. voice from Demolition Man was also the computer's voice in John Carpenter's The Thing? 
and in Stephen Hawking's computer. That's amazing, isn't it? That's mm. that's not true. It's a weird concept, and it was like ten years apart, eleven years in fact, between those. And she was like, "Yeah, I'll be a computer again. <laughs> Make me." And they were like, "Okay, we'll pay you." And she's like, "Fine, I'll do it." <laughs> I'm sure that's how it went. Oh, um, mm. there were scenes with his daughter. <gasps> oh, his, his daughter oh, existed. they cut them, didn't they? Yeah, they cut them because they they found it weird that he was sleeping with a woman the same age as his daughter. Ah, uh, yeah. That's quite yeah, funny. Yeah. That doesn't make sense, however, though, because she was born in nine, uh, 2003. And he, if he was frozen, it was in 1996, did it say? Yeah. Yeah. So she's a good, she's older. His daughter is older than Sandra Bullock. See? Right. I have an interesting question. Have you both seen Spaced? The TV um, show, not the. Not the TV spaced. show of what? Dumb again, sorry? Spaced. Spaced, so yes. I, Nick Frost. I haven't seen all of it, however. Right. Uh, I've right. seen it about who, who twice. Do you think would, who do you think would win? Right. Who do you think would win? Okay. Is it The Demolition Man or Mike? Ooh. Tough one. You know, it's a fate that yeah. people often ask this question. I hear. Um, it's, you know, I it's mean, one of them... Everyone's can got their can the Demolition Man drive a tank? No. I don't believe he can. Has, has you know? the Demolition Man ever invaded Paris? I've exactly. in fact heard Not. Mike can use the shells, which does sort of give him an advantage. What were the shells? Like, right, I know they okay, were meant to be like know... toilet paper. Right, so... <laughs> Um, let me pretend I'm not reading this. I'm just searching around well, the back that, of my head, you know, to find that out was what... A, um... That was a great... I mean, I was expecting you to just know it straight off, but... Stallone, um, in fact, believes that his idea behind the three sh- seashells was that two were used like chopsticks or to clamp together to pull waste out of the body, not like catch oh or collect, to physically <laughs> no. remove. And what? the third was used to scrape what was left over. No. Yummy. <laughs> However, IMDB <laughs> decides to include that no explanation was made about how they were to be cleaned or sanitised <laughs> between use. I'm sorry, but hmm. why? <laughs> why that, did that... why? That's I mean, oh, oh god, that's not better than toilet paper. No, like, no, it's not even more efficient. They looked at him like. <laughs> In fact, do you want to know an interesting bit of trivia? Yes, Barney Ross, Stallone's character from The Expendables, wears a similar black beret as John Spartan. He does. I movie. always thought that as do well. Jump my fan for is right. He wasn't actually he wasn't actually frozen all the time. He had a twin <sighs> brother. Whoa. Like the prestige. And they just swapped they swapped places every few years. Amazing. Yeah, there we go. Maybe he did live like a full life cycle that ended in twenty thirty two. Yeah. And was reborn. He was cryogenically frozen in nineteen ninety six after he'd made like Rocky Four. They took a sample, grew a Sylvester Stallone. Sylve- Sylvester Sylvester I-, I couldn't even say it then. No, he was, mm. oh my god, the one, the other one is Sylvester Stallone. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. And no. to cut across, was Rob Schneider in Dread or Judge Dread? He was, yes. And he was and the he was worst also thing about in it. This, wasn't he? Yeah. I believe. Yeah, he was the um, receptionist. The awkward receptionist. Yeah. That's very strange that he was in. For someone who is not at all like the products that. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone mm. would be in. Oh it my says god. Here that so, so he became so friends theory. with Sandra Bullock? Perfect. Let us know. Do you want to know this? I just searched it up, right? Oh my god. So I searched up Judge Red versus Demolition Man. No. And someone on Reddit six years ago did a fucking post on fan theories. Demolition in 2014, Man is a, is a prequel to... to Judge Dredd and share the same themes and plot. Neither movie I mean, really makes sense movie. about the other. It, oh my god. Like, it would make sense. It, yeah. you, like, talk about how Dredd himself is, like, out of place. Yeah. So it's sort of like, I mean, I don't hate it. I, t- I definitely tell the person if I hated it, and I would comment six years after they posted that saying, you are wrong, and you've made bad life choices. Um, but, I mean, 
I, I accept it, you know? Hmm. He also, Rob Schneider confided in Sandra Bullock and had reservations when she told him about her next upcoming project. When yeah, she, that and he, bus movie. It, yeah, some bus movie. And then, obviously, Speed was one of the most successful films of 1994. Mm. And he's probably more remembered than Demolition Man. <laughs> yeah, I'd Sadly. say so. It's definitely much more referenced. It's ahead of its time, though. That's one of the things yeah. I always think about at Demolition Man. It feel like, I feel like it came out to the wrong audience. It's too meta to oh, have been yeah. like a 90s film. If this film was made now in the 90s style, I think people would absolutely love it. Yeah, Speed, on the other hand, it it's definitely like 100% 90s, but at the same time, timeless. Yeah, it wouldn't work without yeah, yeah, the 90s super qualities. Bus, the bus that can't be stopped. Super bus that can't... Yeah, with... Um, our God, Keanu Reeves and Sandy Bollocks. Oh, yeah. that, like, that is my yeah. favourite film. To be... <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, yeah, Dom, you know you were joking about um, Rambo the Destroyer? Yeah. So that was actually the um, the Arabic title of, of this no, movie. No, 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 I know, that's why I said it. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> the okay. Destroyer? Yeah. yeah. Because they because thought that that, na- naming that would um, sell more tickets. Uh, it, that doesn't make any sense to the film at all, no. does it? Um, I mean, I heard here talking about Dennis, um, not Dennis Leary, Dennis Leary, obviously one of the actors in the film, a famous actor, um, insisted that, well, not he didn't insist, he tells after the film that Wesley Snipes went against the director's will and insisted on making all of the action scenes himself. And they went along with it and filmed it, sometimes without the camera equipment on. And then once Wesley Snipes was off set, they'd film the exact same scenes again with stunt people and use them. Oh my gosh. The pandering to like a scary artist in this film is kind of weird, isn't it? Like they really don't want to annoy him. I mean, if he can punch faster than the speed of light, would you? Mm. Yeah, wasn't he like difficult to work with? No, he's famously difficult to work with. Yeah. Mm. I've worked with him many times, obviously, myself. uh, Oh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's tough. I I I've uh, kind of I've kind of uh, started looking at Judge Dredd trivia. Oh for dear! The movie. <laughs> so Stallone had never heard of Judge Dredd when he was offered the role, which is always a tell. good sign. RoboCop, right, took so much from Judge Dredd that it delayed Judge Dredd from being made. Which... I mean, it makes sense. Mm. It does. RoboCop, the cop that can't be stopped. Robocop. The, the Robocop that can't be stopped. Robocop that can't be stopped. The Robocop that can't be Robo stopped. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is elite. Um, Hyphen Chris, Robo. I remember I remember hearing this film has way too many similarities. Not similarities in things, but like this film definitely nicked so much from Blade Runner. Like 100%. I'm pretty sure one of the the police car or one of the cars used was from the set of Blade Runner. And also I the name so, San yeah. Angeles was the yeah, original was name for... it was going to be Los Angeles, yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, it, yeah. I've not that seen is... Blade Runner, so I can't comment on oh, that. Oh, dear, Don. What um, do you mean you've never seen Blade Runner? Yeah, I mean, that is actually as disgraceful. As Alex Turner once said. As Alex Turner. Oh, I can't believe yeah. it. The Arctic Monkeys. Right, the Arctic Monkeys. Um... It was a two-hour-plus-long cut of the movie that we will never get to see. Why? I want to see that. I feel... Yeah. Oh, my God, I can't to... read oh, that no. piece of trivia. That trivia is actually, like, three paragraphs long. So all oh, I can I tell saw, you I is... Saw that. I saw that one. I skipped that one as well. Reading? We're not <laughs> reading. We're getting off I didn't... the other hand. Sure. True. I was reading my brain. I have a mind palace yeah. filled with only Sylvester Sloan stats. Hmm. Um... I can't believe that Rambo... I didn't even realise, when you said the Destroyer, I thought you were making a funny bit about it just being no, I the was, Destroyer. But no, the fact I was reading that... Rambo, dot, dot, the Destroyer. Because it's what? Rambo. <laughs> because the film features... An, uh, that, would, like, that wouldn't pass anywhere else. Because no. if they wanted to sell tickets for Star Trek, they wouldn't call it... I don't know, Shaun of the Star, Star Trek. Just Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, Star- in fact, Star, Star Wars. Trek. Star Wars tickets. Star Wars, the Star motion Wars, picture. The motion picture. Star Wars Into Darkness. 
<laughs> if you want to do Most it right, was the wrath of calm. Yeah. If you want to do it right, it. because Star is in Star Trek and Star Wars, it'd have to be Sean Wars. Sean Wars, and then just to the get Sean there. Awakens, or even you know Hot Hot Wars, like Hot, Hot Wheels. War, yeah, literally, that, that's too close. Ooh. Hot Wheels, or Hot Wheels. Yeah, or, there'd be a publication um, thing here. The World's War, sir. Their names that's... are stupid as well. Can we just talk about that for a minute? Well, everyone's name. Lenina Huxley and Dumb. John Spartan. You have to say it like They'd that. Just be like taking it out of a hat. Literally, random name generator. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, like Alfredo Garcia, uh, Associate Bob, Associate Bob. Literally, they just need uh, like Eddie stupid Friendly. name. What's the name for like the pizza hut? pizza hut worker? And it's just like <laughs> Pizza Dave. <laughs> Uh, Pizza Dave is the best character in this film. I, I mean, know, I heard, I hear the Demolition Man too. It's just going to focus on him. Mm. Oh my god! Just Pizza Dave on his delivery run through Mega City One that isn't Mega City One, but it kind of is. <laughs> just, just why is this movie a better Judge Dredd movie than Judge Dredd? Would- would you like to know about John Spartan's daughter, as I've just gone into the back of my mind palace and found? You haven't. You've just searched up trivia. Uh, mm-hmm. um, at around you 32 <laughs> minutes into the films, the little girl who says... The f- Which films? Q, lady. Right. Do you remember that bit where the little girl says... the? I do. Yes. Well, she resembles the female wasteland scrap, because that's the derogatory oh, term yeah. they call them. Is standing next to Edgar Friendly at the end of the movie. It's implied that they're the same character. And in a scene which is taken out of the movie, the female Wasteland Scrap is actually revealed to be John Spartan's daughter, Kate Spartan. They reunite, and in the theatrical cut, Spartan is seen protecting her during the Wasteland battle. Because the scene was removed, this has no meaning. But then, thanks for telling us. Yeah. Wow. What a great piece of trivia. Yeah, you know that, char- so you know the- that character that was there? Well, they they made her another character, but they took that out, so it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> this is Just weird. You know, Sandra Bullock considered to s- loan her big brother on the set. Oh, uh, You're welcome. That is, that is weird. Mm. And I yeah, can't even believe it. it, though, because how could you consider him your big brother if he didn't know how to use the shells, you know? Yeah, the shells. Mm, exactly. Doesn't even know about shells. <sighs> this movie would be very easy to do a spoof of. Oh, easily! It practically is a spoof, isn't it? With the cartoon, it, yeah, basically action. It is. Of it's a spoof of the films. big action eighties movies. Yeah. Do you want know some the most same way that last action hero is? Last action hero, exactly. That's, That's I'd throw that in with my um, list of all of those same films that are like the pulpy eighties ones. Like hmm. Simon Phoenix, this is a, this is a piece of trivia that is on the respectable website IMDb. Right? Are you ready? Simon Phoenix has two different colors eye colored eyes. That's called heterochromia iridis. That's just yeah, a fact. Blue, blue and that's yeah, not the trivia like for the blue film. Rum. Exactly. That's the that's what Bowie had. Like, why is that a piece of trivia for the film? They're really scraping has, the barrel the further down you get. Yeah, but, yeah, but has he has Wesley Snipes got that in real life? Because if he doesn't, no, then yeah, then it is technically trivia. Because I mean, some fans who are blind might not have noticed that. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, the, the audio described version goes: he has one eye that's blue and one eye that's brown. This is oh. called heterochromia. Um, there's for a film that is so like you know, it is is what we talked about last week with the high concept. That's all it is. It's just like, you know, two people from out of time fight in a world that they're not used to, right? There's mm. so much unnecessary detail that is like, it would be so necessary if you're trying to make like a world-class sci-fi world. Like for the fact yeah, here that... Th- this is tri- literally just a fish out of water story. It's just a fish out of water. They didn't have to do anything. They could have set them in funny costumes. But the costume idea was that the futuristic civilian costumes were inspired by Japanese styles because they assumed the clothes would have more fabric to protect people from a damaged ozone layer. What? Yep. Hmm. Because clothing can do that. 
because clothing can in fact apparently stop mm. like ultraviolet rays. I mean, if you're covering yeah, yours like <laughs> if you're covering foil, like, yeah. maybe. That's like saying like this new coat is Japanese style, so you don't have to wear like mask. There is doing, like, in fact, more coat. In fact, it means it's <laughs> Japanese. There is more coat. That's why you shop Japanese guys, because there's more mm. coat in everything. It just says that in the description. In it's like more coat than layers. usual. More coat means less global warming. If you die, it's not our fault. Wow. Lovely little bit of a uh, liability there. How many people what die? What are ultralights? Why have I forgotten what ultralights are? I have no clue what those are, but I saw that f I saw that trivia. You saw that I mean, trivia in the back of my head. That's impressive, Dom. How many people die in demolition? Yeah. I've forgotten how to spell demolition. Around. Around. It's quite a violent film. And I'd say it's like about 100, unnecessary maybe. Uh, people. Yes. Oh, there's a Are we counting? there's a summary of the film, or how many people die. There, oh my god, there are like tons of summaries. The synopsis is that's not a synopsis. That's like the whole movie right now. Is this is a synopsis different to a synopsis. Have you got like psychic abilities that affect a synopsis? No, like, it just goes synopsis, and it's just like paragraph, 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 paragraph. It's like. That's a of bit the long. film. It's just the film. It's like reading the book of the film. It's just the entire Talking script. of book of the film, which there isn't. Um, there is. Well, there. Yes, there is, of course. And, and there's yeah, a, there's um, a, there was a comic book done by DC. Oh, the DC comic. Yeah, oh, that makes nice. sense. Uh, trivia. Trivia. There you go. Trivia. Yeah. I was thinking maybe the fact that a Hungarian sci-fi writer. Nemir says that most of Delim Demolition Man is based off his book, Holtak Hasa, which is Fight of the Dead, which I don't... I feel like that's a cooler name, if dead is in meaning they've been frozen for so long that, you know, they were, like, assumed dead type, you know, that mm. sort of deal. And it was published in 1986. In he wasn't dead in the ice, no. <laughs> that's exactly what I mean. It's like, so it was 86, which is obviously well enough time, and we know Hollywood nicks things from the European countries to sort of... All the time, all the time. Definitely. So in the novel, a terrorist and a counter-terrorism soldier are cryogenically frozen, then awakened in the 22nd century to find violence has been purged from society. Does any of this sound familiar so far? Uh, kind of. Hmm. Slightly. Do you want to hear this great excerpt, though? All right. Spartan, where we're going is pure fucking evil. Beat. So, like, you know, space. Oh, he's, got to do an but... he's got to do an accent. Where we're going is pure fucking evil. No. <laughs> 30 <laughs> people who are riding that money moony bus. I've not. Is that meant to be minibus? I hope it is, because otherwise that's. Uh, that's that's not weird. Good, it's it? very strange. Moon... Mm. 30 people who are riding that moony bus are still missing. I've got this bad hunch about who took them and where they are. Now, right. That's a bit too much like, I know everything. You mean that was literally all exposition? Really? What? We're not going here because people are bad. And they've done a <laughs> crime. It's and I know it's them. <laughs> Pilot <laughs> yeah. 2. No, this is better, right? Pilot 2. How come they call you the demolition man? Are you with the bomb squad? Spartan gets his bag into position. Spartan, I just shrugs apo apo apologetically demolish things. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, do you know what would have been so much cooler? What would actually have been a quote? What would have literally... Say it again, Dom. We'll do it in character. <laughs> right. Who are you going to be? I'll be Stallone, because this is where the joke comes in, of course. Right. How can okay. they call you? How can they call you the demolition man? Are you with the bomb squad? Spartan Turns around, his... grabs Satchel, <laughs> and fixes the camera. I am the bomb squad. <laughs> Bro, that would have been that would have been the quotable "I'll be back" of this film yeah. if it was a popular film. I am the bomb squad. Like, oh god! And then he walks off into like a oh room and it all explodes. No way! No, way. <laughs> no, no! This is not. This doesn't credits. They wrote this in the script. Credits. This and this and this breaks the film. The pilot on, takes reveal. the pilot. Right. So, uh, so 
Uh, Spartan checks out the window. They're not quite there. I do my job. Shit happens. Get a thermo, right? The pilot right. takes a thermogram of the building in the middle of the compound. We see a series of heat outlines figures moving inside. Six. One still in the middle. The rest moving around. So the pilot, right? And the pilot then says, I don't see any 30 people. Wow. So the pilot's the one to blame. I mean, this this entire movie just could have been He's trying to prank super super pilot. The pilot couldn't be brought down. Pa- brought down. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's gonna bring down his mood. In fact, you can't stop a pilot. So you have to bring one down. In fact, that's true. You have to break him down slowly. <laughs> the pilot that can't be broken down. Um, no, it's just actually, it's mentally. Is, um, <laughs> I'm not right. pilot who's in fact I'm mentally not shitting you, right? infallible. So he could have just revealed the whole thing and then it'd have been like, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> We're fine then. So right, we have right, so after that, you know, he checks the thermo. Yeah. They look at the they look at the, like they look at the thermo again. Okay, yeah, okay. Then he jumps out the, the thingy. And just then we just get the shoot we or just anything. he just jumps. We just get like paragraphs. Feet. We get paragraphs of just action until Phoenix motherfucker. Motherfucker. Ah, that's... Oh, that's see, we're script writers, of course. Yeah. I never. I feel like I get so uncomfortable if I've gone so long, and even our script editors were advising us to not do too many lines of um, action, action between dialogue. Right? Oh my or god! Like, I know, did so much. Exactly. Because like, I did. I did a fight scene, and I searched up how to do a fight scene. Yeah. And uh, one of these like big film guys had put an article saying like, when I you know when you think about a fight scene, this is what you think it looks like, and it's just like you have to block it. Though. You have to fully block really the fight. Do, you can't yeah. write yeah. just like they fight now. No. And then it's and like, was, imagine like, that at the like, end of the film hey, is. Dude, one yeah. He was like uh, in my in in my one movie. No. Uh, oh, well, I can't remember what it was, but I can't remember who it was. But it was like in yeah. my one movie. This is what you imagine it looks like. I wrote like two, one and a half pages of just action, and yeah. I, I like I kind of copied that idea because I had a lot of action I wanted to do, like a proper oh. like, fight. And yeah. he was like, and then and then the, the somebody, I'm not going to say who, was like, "Oh, that you've done too much." I was like, but. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, you've got to leave it to the director as well. But you, if it's an important fight, like I'm sure the Marvel ones in the script are blocked out to a T to, you know, to include them using all of their powers, their abilities, their their style. You know, Iron no, Man absolutely. wouldn't just like but then you've go got, like, the fight coordinators someone. and the stunt coordinators. Exactly. Then they take it and do what they can do with it. But like, yeah. if it was up to our script editors, the Demolition Man ending would have been like, "There's six people and there's one, per- like one person moving." And he goes like, "I'll oh, handle it." Jumps out the plane. Man fights man, and then just motherfucker, <laughs> and then the film ends. That's the end of the script. Hmm. One line of man fights man. Future I mean, that's the whole movie. Future bad yeah. boy. Man fights man, Stallone gets confused about the future. You know? Oh my god. It really is just... Wait, what? what? Even though it's, only like, it's not even that long, really, is it? To be fair. Mm. I mean, a lot changes in a short hey. amount of time, I will admit, but... Wait, I have something here. I have, I have a weird Ooh. thing in your brain, right? Spartan. that you found at the vet. No, no, on the script. Another bit on the script that doesn't make sense. Spartan in stark white overalls, a beautiful shaken woman holding the hand of a small child, about six. Spartan <gasps> bends down to the little girl and clenches his vision. Fist. His LAPD. L-A-A-P-D. Yeah, I hate that. L-A-A. LAPD. Yeah, <laughs> it's not L A E. Bad inside, he pins it on the little girl, Katie. I mean, why do you have to use now? Spartan, I'm going to his be daughter. back. I'll still be your dad. I promise. So wait, he gave her Katie Spartan. He's L A P D. So she's mm. in. She was in it. And yeah, then she was a lot more in it in like it. the two and a half hour version. Why is he in white overalls? What is the context? Is he being cryogenic? He's, he's at frozen the cryo. at this point. He's at the cryo. Yeah, You're right. Does that happen in the yet. film? I can't remember that. No, that definitely doesn't happen. 
no, we just, yeah, just we intro into then the then future after the that. first bit, aren't we? We don't really get like the. Yeah, I mean, yeah. originally it wasn't going to have the um, the prologue. It was just going to open with him coming out of the cryo freeze. I kind of would have liked that. Oh, fish out of water, yeah. like 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 um, future armor, just like sort of exactly, <gasps> just straight in. Yeah, but wasn't oh, that, that line? Sick. Wasn't that... amnesia? Love that. That'd be sick for him. Greg, as you read that piece of trivia, who was the guy who no, said no, the... like? <laughs> there was a guy who said like you can't. Oz isn't that special if you haven't got Kansas. Oh yeah, well, yeah. I do like that quote. Yeah, I don't. I can't remember. Agree, who it's from, but. It yeah, makes sense. Like this guy like... did uncredited rewrites. Yeah. Uh, that's true. I mean, to be fair, I just said amnesia, but amnesia wouldn't work because if you woke up in, with amnesia in the 20th, like in 2032, you wouldn't care about 1996 because you're just like, oh, yeah, this is the world then. I'm just a bit confused. Yeah, I mean, that'd be. Imagine if everyone that. gets amnesia was actually a timed. To... Hmm. <gasps> wow. Or just the literally just world, a medical... Real world um, fan theory, you know? Yeah, just, you know. <laughs> They'll never keep me quiet, Greg, I promise. <laughs> uh. Everyone will die in Demolition Man 2. Oh, Dem fucking... Super Demolition Man. Super, Super Demolition Man Brothers. The in Wii. a van. The, the return of Bowser. <laughs> wow. I just can't understand, like, where Adrian. That's just the, the subtitle Adrian. of the Demolition Man 2. <laughs> Adrian? Adrian, uh, question mark. Question mark. This time it's personal. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, I just, I love it for the what it is. is Adrian. It's not much, but it's honest work. Um, yeah, but I can't wait for the, uh, I can't wait for the Arabic title of Demolition Man 2. It's going to be. Rocky Rambo, versus, Rocky 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 versus Rambo, the destroyers, the, of the Expendables. Yeah, Expendables <laughs> for Rocky versus Rambo. Love it. That is so weird that it was called Rambo the Destroyer. I love that. Mm. They just edit it like so. It's got the uh, red headband. Well, have you ever? I'm oh. going to make you guys. This won't obviously. This won't translate for people on a podcast. But if you get up Google. And then you typed in Chinese knockoff DVD covers. Yeah. Oh, I know these. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, DVD. Yeah, Chinese knockoff DVDs. And then go into Google Images and just have a browse. This is the Star pirated Wars. ones. Are the funny? Is that with um? Yeah, Arnie. Oh, insane. <laughs> yeah. Arnie, like and then we've got Indiana Jones. He likes tacos. Game of Literally. Thrones with uh, Pepe likes tacos. Oh. I don't even know which. That's Sandy Bollock again on the left. I don't know what yeah. Tom film that is. Harry Potter with Enchanted. Is it, Enchan oh is it Enchanted? God. The Disney uh, film? Yes, is it Amy yes it is. That is Harry Potter yeah. with Enchanted. We've got Harry Matrix Potter Reloaded. Good film. Um, oh. The White Men Wanted a Stud to Breed Slaves is the subtitle of wow. Matrix Reloaded. Just wow. <laughs> yeah. Pepe likes tacos. Pepe likes tacos. Because it's on cruise <laughs> film. Um, there's the loin. Briggs so bad. I think um, Briggs so bad is probably the best one. Briggs no, no, bad. my favorite has Harry to Potter be one with yeah, with the, the Pirates of the Caribbean logo at the bottom. Lord of the Rings. Gollum, <laughs> Schmeagol, Sh Gandalf. Everyone's there. <laughs> Cars. Oh my god, that, oh, I love it. This is just beautiful. Game of Thrones with the Game of Thrones film, which we all know, with uh, yeah. Thor with Sean Bean's face. Thor Bean. <laughs> yeah. Thor Bean. What about, Thor what about Bean. the Crow? <laughs> what about the Happy Crow Feet? with Heath Ledger? The Crow with Heath Ledger, yes. Uh, my favourite is... Um, um, Matrix Reload. You, know, you know The Rock with Nicolas Cage and Sean Connery? Yeah. So yeah. picture this. It's Sean Connery on the left, Dwayne the Rock Johnson from Race yeah. to Witch Mountain on the right. <laughs> There's fire in the middle, a still from the Scorpion King underneath the title. <laughs> that is Sean Connery versus the Cock. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favourite. <laughs> and the picture on the spine is the, sh the shark from, um, from uh, Finding Nemo. 
Bruce. Bruce going straight towards the camera. Oh. In Sean, ver- Sean Connery versus the cock. Is that an E? Yeah, that's an Ewok above the verses as well. Genius. Of course. I like 50 Big, fist dates yeah. with um, Adam Sandler. And 50 fist dates. <laughs> 50 fist dates, yes. <laughs> like, is that like, is that like 50 shades of grey? But... <laughs> I'm just in the enchanted one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's beautiful. One of my favourite um, ones has to be uh, The Loin King 2. <laughs> and on the back it says, Loin not as good as the oh, first one, but okay. <laughs> not as good as the first one, but okay. Oh my god, these are too good. Right break? now that we've done the break so now much. that we've done oh. the intro, the ah, intro yes. is now completed. Right, Greg, what do you think of this film? I really liked it. Honestly, like it's got to be one of the like greatest action movies of the nineties, apart from things like Fifth Element um... and Judge Dredd. I genuinely yeah, thought you were just going to mention about like 80 different <laughs> action films that were better than it. You were like, this is definitely one of the greatest ever uh, action films of 1993. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, but no, it, it's a lot of fun. You know, it's got a brilliant cast um, and it's just pure cheesy madness. Oh, beautiful. I love it. I mean, my favorite Dom, I'm going to ask you. Yeah. Well, my favourite cast member is Sandy Vollocks. Sandy Vollocks. Really Famously shunned. from Sean Connery versus the cock. <laughs> Man, what a, what a cock up that was. <laughs> Madagascar yeah. 3, Escape to Alcatraz. <laughs> Why? Why? I mean... I mean... Why are you going to Alcatraz? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just like I don't like civilian life What's anymore. All I'm, go- I'm going to, prison. to Alcatraz. Oh. Probably all the racists. Go on, Dom. Um, what is it? What is? What do you think about um, the 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 slightly breaking things, man? <laughs> I I uh, I enjoy it. You know, like but it was good. You know, it was definitely a '90s film. It's just harmless, yeah. isn't it? Really, it's, yeah. Mm, it's it's nothing. It's clean fun. It, it has some good concepts. It has some dumb concepts. Oh, absolutely. Like, mm. How can you outlaw salt? Because salt is in like everything. But it was like, like the '90s. They were all like, "Oh, salt is bad for you," and then the, then the 2000s, I know, were like, salt is good on, for you. Man. And now we're like, "No, salt is bad for you." Too much salt. Yeah, too much salt. Yeah. But no salt is not good for you. That's like, true. You can't win. I mean, supplements. come on, just you just can't win these days. Just... Yeah, you can't. It's, you know, Who wants to live in like a future in where everyone's a vegan? I'm sure they like, don't change name places in about forty years, do they? If I woke up in if I if I was cryogenic and frozen, I woke up and someone said, "Oh, you can't eat meat." I'd say, well, I'm going to go back and say? wake up in another <laughs> yeah. 40 years. Because <laughs> maybe the, they'll the see their uh, error palpable. in their judgment. Could you run I mean, that back, Dom, just in case? What a yeah, all you heard was concept. judgment. Yeah. Judgment. Basically. That's all we heard, yeah. Once they've said... I mean, it was, okay, then. Once they've said that uh, we can't have meat, I'll just hop back in my cryopod... And uh, ah. set it another Put 40 back years. In the so they'll, they'll have seen <laughs> their ways, the error of their ways, and then they'll be like, oh, here's a, here's a nice burger when you come out. Yeah. You know? Cryopod 3 Judgment Day. Yeah. Also, Taco Bell must have just paid, must have been the only like franchise, and Pizza Hut must have been the only one willing to pay. <laughs> I was going to say, why is Taco every, Bell? All I know is Pizza like, Hut. Everyone oh, knows. On. Pizza Hut. Yeah, but everyone, everyone knows that McDonald's would win <laughs> any war like that. Like, yeah, it's just the, the truth. war. I love that became like fancy. But it'd be KFC, like the coolest, like, it'd be KFC, Burger King, and McDonald's. It, Taco Mackey's Bell's would be the in. first to do like a fancy one, though, wouldn't it? You know, like Apple have got those like oh, fancy stores where they. Have you not they? seen them? <gasps> no, I haven't. Yeah, when, um, when I was in Italy, I think it was. They have like muck cafe and it's like a proper cafe, like a proper swanky cafe. Oh. And it's like, this is weird. 
They should do like a proper restaurant. Like mm. a proper restaurant, you know, like oh, yeah, all plated coffee, food. Oh, that'd be, that'd yeah. be right. Right. But it is still the Mackey's menu. Obviously, it'll cost more, mm. but like, because you'll be paying for the premium. No, 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 no. That would be, be so much more fun. You could do it where it's like, it costs more, but it's just the combined price plus like a quid or something. For yeah, like for the, the service. Because, yeah, you know, yeah. Was, that, that would, would be so work. good. That would actually, it's all that, that like, make a tiny killing. gourmet. <laughs> yeah. oh, Little no. bits from Rick it's and a Morty. tiny burger. Little bits, yeah. That's just yeah. Is your mouth small and tiny? <laughs> little bits, <laughs> so good. You got a little peep. Little bit. Uh, yeah. Um, mm. and everyone knows how I feel about Demolition Man. It's just you it's my happy it. place. It's yeah. I detest all it's made of. No, it's my happy place, man. I think detest I've seen it about four movie. or five times, and it's just every time it's just sort of just like. I don't know. It just—it's always surprised me. I just—I'm a big fan of all just like m- practical effects, mostly with a little bit of like mm. early CGI. Um, yeah, like the pyrotechnic the stunts. Fi- pyrotechnic stunts. Um, you know, young actors who then become like have like quite serious careers, but you see them yeah. pop up in these like they look cheap, but they're very expensive for the time because they were expensive, and it's just—it is. You know, I'd love to. I'd love to see what they can do with stuff like that in the future as homages. I can see this becoming one of my comfort films, really. Oh, definitely. Uh, that's that's what it's a good use for, man. Like, because you'll forget mm. what happens. Like I did as well, and it, it, that's the best thing about it. It's maybe not after we've talked about it for so long because I've never really discussed Demolition Man in great detail. Yeah. Besides no, the fact yeah. of how much I love it, but um, yeah, well, it's just it's 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 just an action movie, isn't it? Yeah. It's just a, and because yeah, it's not bad, it's not movie. like offensive or no. I mean, perhaps the real demolition man was the friends we found along the way. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. That's over. Today well, film's over. We ended it. Well, that's it. It's the, we what go, have we Pete. got sort of planned, Tom? You got any ideas? Whose film is it next? Oh, it's, it's mine. Big, the big Domowski. Yeah, it's mine. Go. But yeah. um, if we've if we've all seen Tenet, we'll do Tenet. <gasps> Which yes. we hopefully will have. Here we go. Uh, other than that, though, uh, there was a film that I was thinking of doing, okay. but I can't remember it. I'm just going to have room. a quick check. Is this a bit? Yeah, no, this, this is a bit. He's room. talking about like Benjamin Button or um, something Benjamin like that. Button. Teen Titans go to the movies. <laughs> was that seriously the one? I, I mean, saw that it on Amazon. Be. <laughs> it is on Amazon. I don't know. It's, man. I've watched that. I've already watched that. This like, is it, is it good? It's it's okay. I mean, it's obviously it's obviously got it an seems audience. Serviceable. Yeah, yeah. It's got an audience. It has Nick Cage as uh, Superman now, which Finally. is good. Is Finally, yeah. Good marketing ploy. Uh, mm. Blues Bros. Two Thousand can come off my watch list. So yeah, there was good. right. There was Patient Zero. Don't have Matt Smith in it. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, there was Knives Out, Lock. Good film. Lock. Also I thought about film. Lock for this week as well. Have you, you know, seen Lock? There's no, I haven't. There's Lock also this film I saw. I saw trade for called Prevenge. Oh, Prevenge is great as well. I, I wanted to watch that one. Yeah, I'm, yeah. There's some very good ones here, Dom. Very good ones. Yeah, I'm just looking. I've been looking for it. And Revenge like, oh, looks I'll interesting, it. doesn't it? It does. I watched the trailer and I was like, well. Pregnant It's got Revenge, an interesting concept. Like, I yeah, never want to watch to Part 3 ever again. Or even think about it. Sports I mean, Rambo Last cinema. Blood's on here. Was that the shit one? No. The new one? No, that was, was that one just called Rambo? Rambo Last Blood. I don't know if it was shit. I think it was, but... There's what the man from it, Uncle we could do. That one. Yeah, remember last year. Yeah, it was last shit. Year. I've heard. Yeah. Why is Ocean's 8 on my watch list? I didn't put that on my watch list. With Sandy Bollock? <laughs> Sandy Bollock, yes. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Sean the Sheep. <laughs> Full name right, is actually so Sandrew Bollock. I have... I have um... <laughs> Sandrew. Fuck's sake. <laughs> All right, I'm Alexander. gonna, I'm gonna put the choice 
up in the air. Okay. I don't know. Actually, no. Actually, no. I won't. I was going to say either. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, I was going to say this is a dictatorship here, Dom. <laughs> no, I was going to say right. I was going to say democracy here. I was going to say either um, a Shaun the Sheep movie, Farmageddon, or Forty Two. <sighs> and then I'm like, I'm like Forty Two. I just feel like because that's you know obviously Chadwick Boseman just passed late. away. I felt yeah. it's a bit mm. like it's a bit. Beatty if we do that I, one. Yeah, I feel like we definitely need to check it out. Just, you know, the, the time not, and the place. Not this week. And no, I... Mm. You need to really... Yeah, absolutely. But, so you know, obviously, our thoughts were with his family. Absolutely. Yeah. Very horrible time. Not the right time to do that. An excellent... But we will do that one. Yeah. At some excellent. point in the future. So dynamic when you think about it with the sort of roles that... I mean, such sort of like a you'd say a late career would you as well like he wasn't even known for that much of no no before it's it's yeah unbelievable it's a sad one it's sad day yeah so to date and time this video again yeah I mean yeah it's to ruin the immersion much, of whoever's watching not much more to say about the whole thing cause... no uh so it's either right. I'm gonna actually. I'll check this. I'll check the uh, the choice up there. So democracy never works, Dom. It's either capitalism it does, or though, uh, right. dictatorship. Communism. I'm just gonna, I'm just check the both. options out Communism. there. So there's the, the loft. You heard of that? Carl uh, Urban, no. uh, James Marsden, Wentworth which Miller. Which one is that? It's about they like have a secret loft. They have a secret loft to have like parties in, and they find a dead girl in there. <gasps> that sounds cool. Fun. What's the film called? The Loft. It's on Amazon. Oh. Uh, obviously, uh, <laughs> Small Soldiers. Um, great film. Oh, classic. I'm interested in doing that because I haven't seen that in years. Well, it's just the problem is if we all like it again, though, it could be a bit of a or the yeah. best film on it. Or actually, we'll do this another time. But um, this week. Either Jonah Hex or Farmageddon. Oh, lovely. Nice. I think Farmageddon, as it's our 15th episode, you know, wrap it around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Farmageddon. Great, full circle with the, uh, with the Ardman. Yeah. I haven't actually seen Farmageddon either. Uh, neither, we can neither, no. Right. Yeah. Cool. Really, with fresh start. Is there speaking in it? Sean doesn't speak. Um, the farmer, right? I don't know. Little Timmy, the little one. I remember that. Very British. It's a British staple. That's up there in the uh, the V and A museum. There's just a Sean. I imagine we love him that much. Mm. Absolute icon. Yeah, <laughs> it's on the fifty p. Don't check Americans. <laughs> oh. Well, apparently it's got. There's some. Mixed reviews for it on Amazon. It's not the audience, Dom. It's not the right audience, man. Exactly. We're the perfect audience for we are the right. We're the target. To begin. Well, that's what we've we decided. Are, which is kind of sad. We've talked about it enough <laughs> it now is. that we're like mm. the only staple people that believe in Ardman at this current moment of time. Yeah, we'll be we'll be there at the premiere of Chicken Run Two if they want us there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if you want Dom, us, what do you mean we'll... if? If no, I mean no, when they going when they ask, there. we're on the carpet. When they ask for us, though, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're on the list already. Don't worry about it. We love you, Ardman. Mwah. That's a bit of ASMR for the people listening. I think they want us to replace. Um, was it Antonio Banderas? Was he in it? Who was, who I'm was not the like? Sure, Mel, G- Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. Yeah, we, he, they want us to uh, replace the less Mel problematic. Gibson. A lot. Uh, Antonio Banderas is a. A lot yeah. less problematic than hmm. Melium. So basically, Gibson. they just they just want all three of us to play the same character, just taking turns. <gasps> like Doctor Parnassus. Have you ever seen that? No, I have. The not. Imaginarium of Doctor Parnassus. Half of it was filmed when he died. Him. Yeah. So we um, will will be the Jude Law, Robert Downey Jr., and Johnny Depp. I don't think it was Robert well, Downey Jr. Has that just come out my ass? <laughs> Probably. Jude Law, 
Johnny Depp and Colin Farrell. That was a very similar to a. Hmm. Oh yes, the Penguin and Iron Man. I was about to say before we go, can we talk about the Batman? Didn't we do that last week? Yes. Did we talk about it? Last oh week? no, we didn't. No, no we didn't because Fandom was uh, last weekend, so we yeah. talked about it on Doctor Who, yeah. which hasn't gone out yet because I am lazy. But, wow, what do you guys think? That is the whole about Bat Reeves, Robert Pattinson's The Batman. Looks, I'm really looks excited. Really good. Oh, it's so cool, doesn't it? It's it has a better tone. I haven't had chills. Definitely. Well, it has a Batman tone, not just like a cinematic universe tone. Wait, right. That, that, um, the shot where he walks in behind Gordon, mm. that is, that's very comic y. You know, like just. He's there. Yes. He's in the whole thing, and it's like finally because it took it took us this long to get him just working alongside with them. <laughs> Being the in like, yeah, yeah, like I'm on the roof. I'll talk to you. Sherlock just, Holmes for too it. long has been pretending he's world's greatest detective. <laughs> yeah, we've got the real. Hmm. Honestly, it, where he's just like, does this mean anything to you? And he hands over the to the Batman, and he's just like that scene. Genuinely, just gave me chills the first time. Well, the first probably fifteen times I watched it, it gave me chills. Absolutely, yeah. And I'm yet to watch it at sixteen. Just the facial so, expression. Uh, I mean, <sighs> the other so thing is though, so I think the the teaser that did it best for me was definitely the Suicide Squad stuff. Ooh, but then I was talking, yeah. But then there's it just that. Like, I don't know. It wasn't really a a trailer, though, was it? The Suicide no, Squad was kind of weird. The fact that it sounds like a 1970s war film got me hella excited. So it's basically like... I know it wasn't the 70s, but basically Apocalypse Now, but with Which the Suicide Squad. Which means die. People die yeah. in those movies. Who so said I don't can't... get too attached? Was it Idris Elba? Or... I just John's... don't yeah. like it. Oh, no. <laughs> That's where you go, like, a blah, bang. It was yep. Joel Kinnaman, wasn't it? Joel Kinnaman in that little trailer was like, don't get That's to attack. Yeah, oh, yeah, but they've said it from attack. the start. Yeah. Like, what does he mean by that? Does oh, everyone that's... die? No, no. Well, I think people that we know off. are going to die as well. I think mm. Captain Boomerang's the obvious choice. Yeah, because he's returning and as well. I think Rick Flag as well, because we saw him fight him. Rick Flag's the most expendable person I feel like I've oh, ever known. Is. Compared to the comics, like one of the things I love in the behind in the, the scenes footage, they True. they use actual boomerangs. Yeah, mm. that shot where he throws it, it's like so geez, dangerous. Actually, like, yeah, I don't, like <laughs> throwing a boomerang around a set is not ideal unless someone's cast no. smacked, them that defeats the purpose of using a boomerang. Face. Literally, it's just catch for lonely people, awesome. isn't it? Really, <laughs> like swing, like swing ball. Yes, yeah. literally. It's the swing ball of throwing. Who did you say looks awesome? Pick Capaldi. I don't as think I thinker. saw him. As the thinker. Have I been watching... The what is the head, thing like... you're... What are you... What... Which bit have you watched? I think I might have watched him at the behind the scenes. Did you watch right, the roll call just... thing? Or did you watch the behind the scenes thing? I so did you watch, watch the, the fully like, scenes animated... Thing? But then you've no. seen him. He's in the roll call thing as well. Like you see the picture. Oh God! Let me have a look. I haven't. I feel sick that I haven't seen this. Oh, it's practically sickening. I've seen the thing where it was like James Gunn talking for a little bit, and then he's the very talking. comic accurate. That's so cool. Mm. Let's have a look. Show me something that I haven't seen. Um. Oh, right, there's the people. I'm just going so close to the screen to have a look. Um, I can't see him in that one. John Cena looks cool as well, don't you think? His suit fitting and everything yeah. is kind of cool. I couldn't see him. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, what a funny oh, wow, no, I haven't seen that. Bro, there's like... Oh, my God, I'm literally moving my thing ever. King Shaq! He's just, like, casually there. Um, Polka Dot Man looks awesome. Um, I don't King know how Shark I didn't see this. Not being voiced. He's definitely not being voiced by Steve Agee. Bruh. Because otherwise they would say Steve Agee in the roll call thing. Wow, Instead my battery's getting low yeah. on the laptop and I... Oh, 
currently Damn. do not have my uh, charger, so I'm going to quickly be looking at this, and if I just fade away at any points into the nothingness, well, you know we'll the darkness has finally taken me. Yeah, um, we'll bring it to a close right now. Okay. Uh, so, Demolition Man's a good film. Yeah, do watch. Uh, yeah, do watch. Definitely watch. What, it's just fun. It's you... just fun. Quickly before we finish, what would you give out of ten, Harry? Oh, um, for what it is, I'm for what it is. I'm gonna give it like as on like a film level. I'm gonna give it like a six for how much I enjoy it. Like for enjoyment levels, it's just a nine. Honestly, it's just you know that's. I feel like that's fair. Yeah. Nice. Greg, what would you give it? I'd give it an eight point five. Like I think oh. it's like it's incredibly well made. It's got high production values. Um, it's just got everything I look for in any um action movie of that kind. Yeah. Spot yeah. on. Amazing. Funnily enough, I'm gonna be the lowest today. Yeah. I'm oh, gonna say no. seven. It's it's a good film, it's just like it's nothing special as such, is it? Like that's true. It's very it's it's, mm. it's very simple. But you, you don't often it holds see a lot of value. It do everything perfect though, like that. Yeah, no, I know. Oh, Peter Capaldi does look very good. I've just found a picture of him. That is very cool. I mean, that's so why old, like old head. without hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he looks very scary hopefully without hair. Hopefully, he doesn't die straight away. But it looks like a lot of them, like Peter Capaldi, not Peter Capaldi, uh, like you people, like uh, Pete Davidson, Peter and Pearl. yeah, they look like they could be the disposable team of Suicide Squad members that we see die like really early for comic is, value. Do you know what the problem is, though? Right. Pick Poldy's name on the uh, roll call thing and other things yeah. is the sixth name. So you have like the yeah, main it's ones. Big. It's like you don't put him. You don't put him that high because there are other people on that list who are higher. He's than not him. well known in America as well. Besides so being Doctor Who, do you know what I mean? Be like before Doctor Who, he was sort mm. of yeah. Like we know him in England for a lot. But yeah, of he's the things, Doctor, but, but he doesn't. That, that, yeah, that doesn't warrant sixth that doesn't on warrant a, uh, him a high Hollywood place. film. Yeah, Fandom so was great. He must though, be like to sum it up as well, part. wasn't it? Fandom was cool. Yeah. Like the game mm. trailers they released, the films. Oh yeah, much better the than Batman. the Comic Con. Oh. Yeah, it's Hallelujah's. This... Oh, <laughs> Hallelujah's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a the Snyder cut. Um, this Cohen is definitely going to be. Uh, Fandom's definitely going to be the way forward. I think for this. Especially yes. for like designated events, like everyone watches oh, yeah. San Diego San Diego Comic Con for like the Marvel stuff mm. and the DC stuff. If they do it themselves, they could get so much more money if they like somehow manage to monetize streams with sponsors. But the, and no, stuff the thing like is, that. right? They own the webs. They like James said to me, right? He was like, "Why don't they just do it on YouTube?" And I said, "Because they have the website now." Exactly. Like, they have a website, so they can get like money for clicks or whatever. They can they can work away. Yeah. Whatever they do with their people, that they get the money from anyway. They'll manage to wriggle it into a yeah. contract that that pays. And it looks so easy to do, like the fact that they could do it in lockdown as well. And um, it's like yeah, amazing. It, it's more accessible to the fans, yes. which makes it more which makes it more marketable because people might actually buy the stuff and watch it. It's what if we said like could... two months ago, or like not even two months ago, but like when we were saying, you know, oh yeah, but we don't know if there's time for all the comic stuff if they do it on like a main stage event thing. But they did because it was a fandom for people who were there for that exact reason. See, the comic Those thing comic hasn't games. actually happened. No, exactly. They, they but delayed you could it. See that it could which have makes worked. Sense. Yeah. It's it's. I feel like this whole thing would be better if you if you do it like over like I don't know a few weeks. Like every like I don't know every Saturday is you know a new day of fandom and like yeah. you mix it up a bit. If it's as low production cost as possible. Oh yeah. But, you know, for them, like they could do it whenever they wanted. Yeah. But. Uh, but, alas. Need. but alas that'll that'll do it for this episode see you next right, well. week for episode 15 uh hopefully the Take first care. episode recorded in the same room mm -hmm. okay. oh exciting times yeah. what we're we doing sean the sheep farmageddon here we go and, uh, <laughs> 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 buckle in ladies and gentlemen <laughs> you got it <laughs> prepare in. for a ride yeah Right. Strapping grommet. Uh, <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> that'll do Perfect. it for this episode.
See you guys. Be well.